Zakir Naik. Assalamu alaikum. I am Namita, a kindergarten teacher by profession. First of all, let me congratulate you for all your commendable work in spreading the message of peace, love, and brotherhood. I want to ask you, Brother Nayak, if Quran is the God's word, if Islam is truly the way of life, then why are people taking so long in realizing and accepting it? Sister, that's a very good question. Quran is the word of God, Islam is the religion. Why are people taking so long in accepting it? Sister, the straight path is not always easy to follow. Your perception differs. The perception of each individual differs. For example, a person who may not be following Islam, oh, if I accept Islam, he may be an alcoholic. I'll have to stop having alcohol. I may have to stop going out with girls and dating. So then that will prevent him. So what he thinks, OK, fine, Islam may be good, but I don't want to stop my alcohol. I don't want to stop going out flirting with girls. I don't want to stop having pork. So when you learn, there may be certain hitches that may come. Maybe a person may not be alcoholic. Maybe he may not be having pork, but he may think, OK, now I accept Islam. That means for 40 years I was a fool. Oh, I better not accept Islam. Some may think, if I accept Islam, what will my friends say? What will my mother say? What will my father say? So all these obstacles, sister, only if you can overcome these obstacles, can you accept the truth? So therefore, what you have to realize, that the message is clear. The message is logical. It's absolutely clear. But there are other things which are there in the baggage. A person has to be so strong that, fine, if this is the truth, I'm ready to accept the truth, even if I have to leave my other non-Muslim friends. And believe me, sister, this is only a perception. And many non-Muslims who have accepted Islam, and yet they've got the old friends. And people tell me, oh, Zakir, don't speak to non-Muslim, you lose the friendship. I've got very good non-Muslim friends also. Mashallah, they respect me. You have appreciated me. Mashallah, you're a non-Muslim. So my job is to present the truth. And one more thing, Quran clearly mentioned in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 256, like Rafid Deen, there's no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. Our job, sister, is to present the truth. Whether a person accepts it or not, it depends upon him. If Almighty God wanted everyone to accept it, very easy. It's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 99. If he wanted, he could have made all the human beings believers. Very easy. Kun fa kun, very easy. But where is the test? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. Allah di khalaq al wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. So this life, sister, is a test for the hereafter. Now when a person realizes the truth, everything you realize the truth, you don't follow. You may follow 80%, you may follow 50%. There are very few people who follow 100%. Even all the Muslims don't follow 100%. Some Muslims may have bad habit, yet they are Muslim. So what have realized, sister, the major points of oneness of God and believing in the last and final messenger and believing in the hereafter, these two, three points are the most important, sister. And that's the same thing I'll tell you, sister. You ask me the question, I'll ask you the same question. Then what is taking you so much time to accept the truth, sister? Dr. Zakir Naik, I would just like to tell you something that here, with your blessings, I accept Islam and repeat the kalma. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasul Allah. Mashallah, sister, may Allah, may Allah bless you. And Allah come to Jannah, inshallah. And welcome you, sister.